Glad you made it. I just got him. My contact with the wardens should be at the back of the cave. A group of wardens. They were likely hunting my friend. They might well be good men. It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. Wait. You have a Grey Warden with you. Warden Blackwall. You're Blackwall? Uh, Duncan, my mentor, he spoke of you. Duncan? Of course. Good man. I'm Alistair. It's an honor to meet all of you. I wish it was someplace nicer. Are you the Alistair who fought the Archdemon with the hero of Ferelden? I need to change my name. Yes, that was me. War, betrayal, darkspawn, all lots of fun. And made for excellent stories, I'm sure. Nobody cares about that anymore. I answer to Warden Commander Clarell now. Like everyone else. I'll take all the help I can get. I know the Wardens have troubles of their own. I wonder, though. Might those troubles have anything to do with Corypheus? When Hawk killed Corypheus, the Wardens thought the matter resolved. But Archdemons don't die from simple injury. I feared Corypheus might have the same power, so I... I started to investigate. I found hints, but no proof. And then, not long after, every Warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. Maker! Why didn't you tell me? It was a secret. A very dangerous one. I tried to actually keep a few of my oaths to the Wardens. Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? Well, Wardens are tied to the Darkspawn. We're connected somehow. And eventually that connection poisons you. You get bad dreams, and then you start to hear the music. It calls to you. Quiet at first, and then so loud you can't bear it. At that point, you say farewell and go into the deep roads to die fighting, in death sacrifice. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes, I think Corypheus caused this somehow. If all the Wardens die, who will stop the next blight? That's what has them so terrified. So Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling, and they're falling for it. Is the calling they're hearing real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I have no idea. Before all this, I'd barely heard of Corypheus. I didn't even know he was supposed to be a magister until I started digging around. But right now, all that matters is the Wardens are acting like they're going to die. You said all the Wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? And also you, Blackwall? Unfortunately, yes. When I'm talking or fighting, I can almost ignore it. But whenever things are quiet, I can hear it. It's like a song you can't get out of your head. Damned annoying, frankly. I do not fear the calling. And worrying about it only gives it power. Anything Corypheus does will only strengthen my resolve. How can Corypheus make all these Wardens hear the calling? I have no idea. I suppose it's part of what he is. Corypheus is tied to the Blight, and not just a product of it like most Darkspawn. Wardens are connected to the Darkspawn too. That's how he seems able to control Wardens who get too close to him. And that's likely what he's doing here as well. Somehow. 
So the Wardens are making some last desperate attack on the Darkspawn. I saw what a blight did to Ferelden. If Wardens hadn't stopped it, there'd be no more Thedas. Warden Commander Clarell proposed some drastic things, blood magic and such, to prevent further blights before we die. I protested, maybe too loudly, and Clarell sent guards and, well, here I am. Wardens were gathering here in the Western Approach. It's an old Tevinter ritual tower. I'm going to investigate. I could use some help. Let's go. We should get to that ritual tower in the Western Approach, ideally before it lives up to its name. Was the hero of Ferelden involved in all this? I'm not sure. After we defeated the Archdemon, he was made Warden Commander of Ferelden. He disappeared some time ago. Not long before I started investigating rumors of Corypheus. He may have joined the Orlesian Wardens after I went into exile. If so, hopefully he'll be on our side. But I wouldn't count on it. When we fought the Archdemon, he did things that... He walks a dark path. Corypheus was held in a Warden prison, right? So the Wardens should know all about him. You'd think the Wardens would share information with each other. But they're really big on keeping secrets. Maybe they think some knowledge is too dangerous, I don't know. I only found out about Corypheus after I started digging for information. Even then, it wasn't much. For most Wardens, he'd be nothing more than an old legend dead long ago. If they knew of him at all. You were there, weren't you? You helped fight the Archdemon. I'm going to be answering that question for the rest of my life. Yes, I was there. It was big. The hero of Ferelden was brave. <laughs> but that was ten years ago. What have you done for us lately, Alistair? New times. New problems. You mentioned Warden Commander Clarell. Is she behind this? She's the one who summoned me and the other Wardens to Orlais when we started hearing the calling. I don't know her well. She's a mage. Smart, careful, determined. The sort of mage the Templars told me to keep a close watch over. It makes her the best kind of Warden. Or at least I would have thought so. Maybe the Templars aren't wrong about everything. Do you think she's helping Corypheus willingly, or was she duped? Clarell would never serve something that looks like a darkspawn willingly. I heard about an advisor of some kind. Maybe we'll learn more at the Western Approach. What's it like being a warden? Oh, it's wonderful. You get fresh peaches delivered every morning, first choice of local village girls, and bunnies too. Well, maybe it's not that. Not even close to that. I watched my brothers die at Ostagar soon after I joined. I never thought I'd see Wardens kill themselves. Why were the Wardens trying to kill you? When Clarell started talking blood magic and demons to deal with the calling, I said it wasn't a good idea. First, it was awkward silences, some coughing. But when I mentioned Corypheus, things really went wild. The Warden Mages said I was interfering, called me a traitor. Funny how often that happens to me. We'll talk later. I heard what he said. Hopefully we'll find some answers in the Western Approach. Though I fear what those answers will be. I've seen too much blood magic to ever trust where it leads. 